Yo guys, how's it going? So we're in the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on PC with an Asus RTX 4090 graphics card. So let me show you the graphics settings. We're at 170 MHz core overclock, and 1185 MHz memory overclock. We're at 3040 by 2160 my 4K 144Hz display. NVIDIA low reflex latency is on. HDR is enabled. You may have to wait one day for it to process on YouTube. Uh, DLSS frame generation is off. We're not using any upscalers. We will experiment with different settings a little bit later in the video. And dynamic resolution scaling is off. ATL editing set to TAA. There also is a DLAA mode, which you'll uh, try out a little bit later in the video. So all the guys' things are fully maxed out. Uh, the highest preset, all the ray trace stuff X are all the way maxed out. Uh, chromatic aberration I have off, and vignetting I have off. This do not look good on video. And film grain is turned all the way down. So we'll go ahead and play. I am running the DualSense uh, PS5 wireless controller, so we'll see uh, how it plays. And then uh, we'll see all the bright graphical colors. Hopefully it'll be pretty cool to play. I know it does have a uh, ray trace effects and also uses NVIDIA uh, RTX IO which takes advantage of uh, SSD. I am running uh, two Western Digital S8 NVIDIA X's and uh, RAID 0 uh, and two, two one terabyte, or, or sorry, two, two terabyte drives. So pretty much happened. Uh, Wait, a gift? For what? Probably almost oh, you perfect setup uh, for you to uh, RTX IO. So it's just recently uh, incorporated in a few games. Then. I think it was also on Portal. So I haven't used the uh, DualSense uh, wireless control on PC before, so we are looking at that figure out these controls here. But so far it looks very vibrant, very vibrant and colorful, so very uh, bright colors. It seems to be running just fine so far uh, without any uh, upscaling. So we'll get through a little bit of this uh, section of the game, then we'll experiment with different uh, uh, DLSS settings and graphics settings. So we'll just get through uh, this uh, process here. Very bright, vibrant, and colorful, for sure. Bear with me here as I try to figure out what's going on here. I played this on PS5, but I must be forgetting uh, something very simple here. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey! I think I found the one that! What is this supposed to be a I'm gonna try to skip the uh, cutscenes, I just wanna focus on the gameplay. I do not believe this is part of the show. Someone put a bounty on us? So just out of curiosity, let's experiment with uh, DLSS to see how it runs. Uh, so let's uh, frame generation on, quality mode, and then uh, they're on play. Oh. So for a toe play. So apply. 
to. Okay. Yeah, very uh, vibrant. Color. I hope this is not about your gift. Hurry, we must get to the front of the parade route. Like we're maintaining about 156 meters per second here with uh, the activating magnum boots. Yeah, bear with me as I have to through, through, through these controls here. Blogs are behind this, or the Kragmites, or oh, Doctor Nefarious. <laughs> no way! Nefarious has been retired longer than we have. Controls here, I guess, a little bit rusty. It's been a while since I played the PS5. I think I played this like many years ago. This is good too. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, turn off the frame generation, and then we'll experiment with different uh, graphics settings here. So let's turn uh, frame generation off, DLSS. Let's just have it uh, just DLSS call ultimate. See how that runs. So let's see apply here. L2 apply. More goons incoming. <laughs> there he is. Let's get that sweet cat. Like, uh, the, uh, <laughs> Very bright and vibrant for sure. Almost feels like you're playing uh, CGI animated uh, baby game right over. Very detailed. Then just out of curiosity, I want to see how it runs uh, with uh, DLAA on. So let's turn off uh, DLSS and let's try uh, DLA, which is a very uh, high in ATLS mode, so it's probably not going to run so good, but we'll see how it runs. A little rusty, but not too bad. Are they gone? Oh. <laughs> try to see these uh, ray trace effects here. We reach the presence of our hero's story. Wretched! The last known Lombax, whose kind is and then after I play a little bit of DLA, we'll try a 8K just for fun, just to see how it runs. See if it will even run without a DLSS. And for CP, I'm running an i9-1300K, so you get 5.7 gigabytes. I'm considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet, I do not know where I would be without you. You are... Gonna skip the cinematic, I just wanna focus on the, uh... We have to 
get the Dimensionator away from Dr. Nefarious! Yes, and quickly. Whatever he has planned, it cannot be good. Yeah, I just gotta kind of refresh myself on how to fuck this game. So now let's uh, just for fun, let's try AK to see if it's even runnable without any DLC. So let me turn uh, anti losing back to TAA. And let's try. Oh, it's not letting me do AK. That's interesting. Hmm. That's too bad. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Alright, that's fine. So we'll just keep that at 4K here without any uh, deal stuff. But just for fun, let's just see how it runs at 1440p for those of you who want to see how it runs at 1440p. <laughs> Which is maybe possibly causing bottlenecks. Looks like they're bringing something all that, all that high. Let's skip the cinematic here. Oh, looks like the frames are like seem pretty low. I should have known that fairies would. Need a weapon? Mrs. Zircon has it all. How much do I have? Okay. Go! Mrs. Zircon was betting you would pick that one. More goons! Incoming! Definitely more powerful. I did turn down the speaker in my DualSense wireless controller, so it's not too loud. Hopefully the microphone isn't picking up any annoying uh, speaker noise. I did turn down the volume. I know uh, the default volume is pretty loud, so hopefully it's not detracting too much from the video, hopefully. Yeah, overall runs just fine. It's very colorful, that's for sure. So, Put down the definitely a colorful game. So we go back to uh, 4K here. Hey! Just get these uh, cinematics here, and then uh, let's go back to 4K. So graphics, uh, 4K. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's weird how it let me do uh, 8K, which I do have uh, FSR enabled on my NVIDIA control panel. Well, that's kind of weird. Oops. I forgot. I gotta get used to that to apply uh, FL2. Alright, so 30 would have been No frame generation and no uh, resolution square. Ah, this is definitely gonna come in handy. Looks like I did that in the 60s there. That was pretty. Uh, that scene where it looks like graphic is on the 4090. I wonder how much Nefarious is paying these guys! Not nearly enough. Yeah, probably not my type of game, because it seems a little bit more uh, for uh, younger kids. 
But uh, it is cool just to try it out, just to kind of see how it runs and uh, test it out. But I don't think this is a game that I'm probably going to be like in minute videos on. But if you guys want to see more videos on it, uh, just let me know and I'll be happy to make some more. For now, I just want to try it out, see if I decide I want to keep it or not. Whoa, watch your head. Uh, it is available on Steam for uh, $60. Okay, I guess. Sand sharks from above. The RTX effects are pretty good, though. I definitely see the nice reflections uh, on the ground. Might as well Was that a kraken, or at least a very large octopus? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little short, little uh, clip of the game. I didn't want to make it too long because it would take a long time to process on YouTube for too there. long. The but uh, I'll just record a few more minutes and then right uh, take here. things from there. Yep. And again, if you want to see more uh, of the game or any hey, specific uh, uh, graphics settings, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, I have hobbies, and I know that finding the Lombaxes has always been important to you. I thought perhaps we could go... Wow, that's really thoughtful. Oh, but I... Uh, why don't we get it back from the ferries first? I guess it has the RTX or which is pretty detailed though. Just gotta get, get kind of used to the traversal, traversal in this game. It's a little bit uh, out there, if you will. Yeah, I think that shows enough of the game. I'm just getting a little bit uh, confused sometimes with this uh, traveling. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the support. Sorry I didn't make a video. I was trying to wait for some more games to come out. So I know uh, September there's going to be a lot of good games coming out. So I'll be excited to uh, try out uh, some of the newer games that are coming out. I know uh, the Crew Motor Fest is coming out in September. And I think there's a few other games that I'm uh, also curious about trying. So, uh, until then, thank you for watching. Appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys soon enough. Uh, hopefully, uh, some more videos will be of this game or uh, future games that come out later, later in the next few months. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys around. If you liked the video, give it a like. And if uh, you have any questions or comments or suggestions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to uh, address them when I can. So thanks for watching. Peace out.